Right now, the nation is about one day away from a federal government shutdown. The clock is ticking on Congress to stop it. Here's a live look at the U.S. Capitol tonight. Lawmakers need to agree on a funding bill. As of now, that does not seem likely. The shutdown means that our military won't get paid. It could also impact your ability to get out of town. Our Alan Henry's live at MSP International right now with how a shutdown might mess up your travel plans. Alan? Well, Frank, Amelia, there are more than 1,200 TSA agents and air traffic controllers just here in Minnesota. And even if the government shuts down tomorrow night, they'll still be expected to report to work here Sunday morning, but with no clue as to when they'll get paid. And that could impact your travel plans, especially with that unofficial MEA holiday weekend coming up in just a few weeks. Despite enjoying their time in the Twin Cities, travelers at MSP say they're happy to be leaving. The looming government shutdown has them feeling as though they're getting out just in the nick of time. Okay, we're heading home right now, but if this shutdown goes through and you don't have the right people here to get you where you need to go, so you're in a lot of trouble. I would be very concerned if I wasn't leaving tonight. After the October 1, if it really does shut down, it's going to turn into such a zoo just trying to get people in and out. There's going to be so many disruptions. And the air traffic system already is disrupted enough. This week, the U.S. Transportation Secretary warned a shutdown would cause a setback for the air travel system, which just stabilized from the post pandemic travel boom. It would mean we would immediately have to stop training new air traffic controllers and furlough another 1,000 controllers who are already in the training pipeline. Even a shutdown lasting a few days could mean we will not hit our staffing and hiring targets next year. But a shutdown would have an even more immediate impact on TSA agents and air traffic controllers. And quite frankly, if I was FAA or TSA or the police department or the railroad department or Amtrak or anybody, I said, okay, the government shut down, we're stopping. Stop the trucks, stop the trains, stop the planes. You want to shut the government down? Okay, we will. And the fear is those TSA agents and air traffic controllers could stop showing up to work because they're not getting paid. You might remember they did that the last time this happened back in 2019. In fact, I spoke to a TSA agent who couldn't go on camera earlier today because of union rules. He told me that some of them are already looking at delivering with DoorDash or even driving Ubers just to keep money coming in if the government does shut down. Frank. All right. Alan, live at the airport. Thank you.